Good morning, Trinity Lutheran Christian School families, Trinity Lutheran Church families, and everyone else watching. I'm David Merritt, Youth and Family Ministries Director here at Trinity Lutheran, and I hope you're having a marvelous Monday. And I was told by a student that I need to smile more when I'm giving the devotion. So, there's your smile for the day. Our devotion topic is anchors. What anchors us? And the text for today comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 17 through 22. And as he was setting out on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except for God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go, sell that all, sell all that you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. This is one of the saddest stories in the Bible. We see a young man who is very interested in the things of God. He seeks out Jesus because he really wants to know about eternal life and how to have it. He is not playing games with words when he asks Jesus for advice. He is sincere, and he is ready to do whatever Jesus tells him. He has already spent many years trying to serve God, and Jesus loves him. He offers him a priceless opportunity to become yet another disciple, to be with Jesus daily, living in the freedom and joy of God's children. And yet... It turns out the man is one tremendous anchor holding him to his present life, preventing him from following Jesus freely. In his case, it is riches. The man has wealth, land, maybe even businesses. He is weighed down by these things. His heart is in them. When Jesus calls, he cannot bring himself to answer. What a terrible grief! We may think to ourselves, well... Whew. I'm safe from that. I'm not rich. Definitely this guy. But there are other anchors or things that could become anchors for our lives if we allow them to. For some people, it is a career or treasured position. For others, it is friends or family or even relatives. For others, it is reputation or prestige or even power. Their hearts are so entangled in these things, that's when Jesus calls. They cannot free themselves and simply follow him. This is not to say that jobs or family or riches are bad things in themselves. They're good things that God creates and blesses us with. And yet, good as they are in themselves, they become deadly traps. The minute they come between us and Jesus. I am the Lord your God, he says. You shall have no other gods before me. Not because God is envious or wants to cause us pain or trouble, because anything that comes before him in our heart is a false God. And in the end, it will drag us down to death. Does that mean we should stop loving family or friends or work or possessions? No. It means that we should love God more, that we should put him first, that whenever God and one of these things comes into conflict, we should give the preference to God. As long as the other things stay subordinate to God, they can safely stay. We can ask Jesus to help us with this because he knows what it's like to leave things behind. He himself is the one who left all glory and honor in heaven left safety and power and even happiness in order to be born into our world of grief and trouble. He did it because he loved God the Father first. And that is what he asked of him. And Jesus did it also 
because he loved us. Each and every one of us. And wanted us to be his forever. Love makes the difference. And his Holy Spirit can plant that love in our hearts. So that Jesus himself becomes our anchor forever. Whew. Powerful words this week, my friends. Powerful words. So the reflection questions we have. Number one. Have you ever tried to go somewhere in a boat with an anchor down or in a car with the emergency brake still on? And what was it like? Let me tell you, when I tried, I thought there is everything possible wrong with my car. I was having a panic attack. I got out. I was freaking out. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? And all of a sudden, I realized the emergency brake was on. I almost felt like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone where I was just like, ah! But again, it was an anchor that was kind of just holding me down. And that's kind of a crazy example about our life sometimes. We have these anchors that hold us down. We need to let God be our anchor. Number two, if you had to guess what is the one thing in your life that is most likely to come between you and Jesus as a rival for his love. For me, I'm a TV-aholic. I love my TV shows. I love watching TV in the morning. I love sports, and I love specifically professional wrestling. But I need to balance that out. I need to give God the priority so that there's not that barrier, that burden. I need to give God the, fir the first, the foremost, the time, the energy, and use the gifts that he's given me to glorify him. Number three, how can you get to know the Lord better and grow in love for him? Simply dive into him. Get involved. Here at Trinity Lutheran, we have tons of ministries to get involved with, whether it be Sunday school, small groups, youth group, shameless plug. Please join us either Wednesday nights, 6 to 8 p.m., or Sundays, 6 to 8 p.m. We're always looking for helpers. Or just digging into his word, or even just praying, developing that relationship that will allow us to grow, that will allow us to improve our relationship with God. So remember those things this week, my friends. In our prayers this week, we have a couple prayer requests for Brandon Rydell, for Christy Cooper, for Amari Rose, for Paige Tate, and for Bunky Borgman. Please keep them in your thoughts and in your prayers. And would you please pray with me? Lord, help me to love rightly to you above everything and then all the good things you give to me. And Lord, we want to lift up all the anchors, all the burdens in our life, Lord, that kind of bog us down, that keep us just away from you, Lord. Allow us to allow you to be our anchor. Allow us to focus on you in our thoughts, our actions, our words and deeds. Lord, we want to pray for those who are struggling right now, that whatever they're going through, their ailments, again, they lift those up to you. Lord, let us constantly focus all our actions on you. It's in the name we pray. Amen. My friends, once again, have a marvelous Monday and have a blessed day in the Lord.